I just kind of got addicted to carving pumpkins uh, because I just wanted to keep carving more and more pumpkins because I thought they were so cool. Hi, my name is Ken and I love carving pumpkins. This is Ken's pumpkin patch located in Farmington and he has about 420 pumpkins on display that he all carved himself. This does not look like any of our pumpkins that we've ever, <laughs> ever made and it given us all ideas. Ken began carving pumpkins when he was a kid, he said. Then, as an adult, he started using patterns that you can find at grocery stores. Soon, those patterns were too simple, so I started doing more elaborate ones. But these pumpkins aren't real. Instead of carving real pumpkins that rot after a few days, Ken carves foam pumpkins using a Dremel and a drill bit. I got tired of doing elaborate carvings that took four or five hours, and then two days later I had to throw them away. But the good thing about that is that you can keep a foam pumpkin. The collection that I have here is about 22 years worth of pumpkins that I've carved. His jack-o'-lanterns can take anywhere from one to six hours of work depending on the design. The detail is amazing. I mean, I can recognize Rocky and Bullwinkle. I can recognize Mount Rushmore. I, he's amazing. I cannot believe the skill and the talent that is going on here with these pumpkins. If you visit, I guarantee you, you will find a design you'd recognize. My personal favorite were the Snoopy pumpkins. Ken's pumpkins can be found right in his front yard, and it's free to the public. All he asks is that if you stop by, bring some non-perishable goods for the Bountiful Food Pantry, if you have the resources. My pro tip, if you're coming to visit Ken's pumpkin patch, definitely come after dark, because as you can see, the designs really come to life. Look at these. It's so fun to see all these people looking at pumpkins and hearing the little kids in the background going crazy over a new pumpkin that they see. and. It's just working out great. That's what I would hope, hope for. No plans of stopping anytime soon. Oh no, no, I'll have them up here every night until Halloween and then I'll do it again next year.